of thumb for identifying significant values. Um, and we talked about significantly high versus significantly low. And remember we said, you know, values that are not significant or not uh, that are typical, they're not special, they're not unusual. They're within two standard deviations of the mean, two below, two above. If something or a value is greater than two standard deviations above the mean, then we call it significantly high. It is a significantly high outcome. If I have um, a value or whatever outcome that is less than two standard deviations away from the mean, then I would say that that is a significantly low value. So let me calculate that for this. My mean is 2.5, my standard deviation is 1.1. So 2.5 minus twice 1.1 and 2.5 plus twice 1.1. I'm 1.1. I'm going to calculate the uh, values that are considered or separating significantly low um, from the values that are considered significantly high from the values that are considered non-significant or typical. So 0 0.3 is over here. Did you guys calculate the one on the high level? 2.5 plus 2 times 1.1. I got 4.7. So now the thing about a probability distribution table is that you can answer questions um, regarding this with either the range rule of thumb or just looking at the probability. So what I mean by that is, um, is it unusual or significantly high or low? Mm. Ooh, that was big. <laughs> to get uh, five children in a group of five, um, that have this just genetic disorder, right? Because remember what the probability distribution that the, uh, the probability distribution we went through before um, represented. Right? What did we say? What was it? So this represents in a group of five um, the total amount of children, right, that have this genetic disorder from their fathers. Um, since it was out of five, either zero or one or two of it, right, have it. So we're saying that is it unusual or significantly high or low to get five children in a group of five, because that's what we're dealing with, that have this just uh, genetic disorder? You could do it. Two ways. Um, one way is you can say, well, let's look at the range rule of thumb. We already calculated it. Anything greater than 4.7 is considered significantly high. Anything less than 0.3 is considered significantly low. Anything in between is considered non-significant or usual. So 5 is bigger than 4.7, right? So I would say, what? What's the answer? It isn't is it unusual or significantly higher low to get five children in a group of five that have this genetic disorder, what would you say? Yes or no to that question. Is it significantly high or is it significantly low? Is it non-significant? Yes. It is unusual. It is significantly high to get all five in a group of five children with this genetic disorder. Well, well let's look at that. Go back to the table. What's the probability of getting five? children with this disorder. 3.1%. 3.1% is less than 5%, and less than 5% is unlikely. It's considered unlikely. So we could look at the probability and determine the same outcome. Yeah, less than 5%. It's unlikely in a group of five children or whatever for all of them to have this genetic disorder. Or I could look at the range rule of thumb and say, yeah, it's more than, greater than two standard deviations above the mean. So therefore, yes, it is unusual. It is significantly high. Two ways to do the same thing. Um, is it unusual uh, or significantly high to get three children in a group of five that have this genetic disorder? Is it unusual? Yes or no? What would you say? For this one, I would say, no, it is not unusual. 
it is not significant. Not significantly high, not significantly low. Why? Well, because it's between or within two standard deviations of the mean. Using the range rule of thumb, that tells me that, right? That it's not significant. It's typical. Well, look at the probability of getting three children. 31.3% chance that in a group of five, you get three of them that have this genetic disorder. I would say that that's likely. I would say that that is likely to happen. Therefore, I can say that that would be a typical kind of situation. Um, so, you know... You can analyze from a probability distribution using your probabilities, or you can analyze using the range rule of thumb, or both, just, you know, match them up.